only bit of his tail missing. Lovely fish. Get him back. Tail missing. Goes super happy about that. So the reason I'm so happy with that fish is because I've caught my first fish on a fly that I've made myself. Jeez, ducks it scared the life out of me. This is it. So I saw him feeding on the top. Uh, just that he was moving up and down. So uh, I have fished two places previously. I came here first of all, um, fishing nymphs, but I had absolutely nothing, no bites, nothing. So I moved up um, further up, upstream. Um, again, nothing, fishing nymphs. I come back down to fish nymphs, back on this uh, stretch, and I noticed he was, he was jumping. So it looked like the mergers he was feeding on as they were leaving the surface. So I thought, right, I'll put a dry on, see if he'll take it. He went for it once, and then it was so hard to, to get him to bite again. But we got him in the end. Yes. So that was on that. Try for another one. Got school run soon, so. Um, only been fishing about an hour and a half so far, uh, but that was the first fish. And uh, see if we can get another one. So after the release of that fish, I'm just going to leave it 10 minutes or so. Uh, a lot of commotion with me coming out of the water from down there and releasing the fish. So give it a little bit, and I'll get back in. So this is six foot three weight rod by Witchwood. Um, I paired it up with a two to three weight max catch reel because I you know, I went for that reel because I love the design on it, the brown trout. But it worked well, the drag was working well on that small fish. Uh, light gear, loads of fun. Try and get another one. So in the near future I do have other plans uh, for fishing, um, this will be, it will be catch and cooks, so you know I'm not going to go hauling fish out of rivers and just cooking them all up, um, but I will be doing catch, cook and camps, that will be something maybe that you'll be interested in, um, I'll be taking the dog, Jasper will be coming with me. Uh, we're going to go fish some of the fishing passport uh, waters. Obviously, depending on where, which uh, sections you fish uh, on the fishing passport, depends on how many fish you're allowed to take. So, I'll only be taking one fish. Maybe if, I, if we're allowed two, if the catch limit's two, then I'll be taking one home, uh, or maybe have one for breakfast in the morning. I don't know. We'll, you know, we'll see when we get to that. But that's what I've got planned, um, catch, cook and camp. So hopefully that will interest some of you. I'll show you a bit more of Wales, um, the countryside, the hillsides, the mountain regions, 
places like that rather than just staying local and fishing all the local waters because they you know they're not great Well, I've been sat there. I haven't seen any more on the surface. Uh, rather than change flies, I'm going to go back down towards the car because it's 20 to 2 now. I usually see fish down by this wooden part in this section, so I'm going to try and cast a fly over here. See if we can get anything there before we go. Well, that's it now. Um, can you get that fish from over there? He, he only jumped uh, uh, several times, he came up, but um, to no avail. Didn't manage to get that one. Never mind. Had a good time though. Got a fish on the new rod with a homemade fly, and I'm happy. So it's 20 past 2 now, I'm going to take all this clobber off, um, load the car back up and go do the school run. Thank you for watching, take care, stay safe, I'll see you soon, peace. Okay. That was a bit dodgy, wasn't it?